These Dean's Jazz Night. Uh, we're really thankful for having such a great turnout tonight here in Hastings. How many of you are from Hastings on the crowd? Yeah, all right. We got anybody that's out of town? Anyone here from not from Hastings? Let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. There's like three of you. Awesome. Um, we're really thankful for you to, uh, being here tonight. This is the Hastings High School Jazz Band sitting before you tonight. You gotta make them earn the applause, though, so don't. All right, we're gonna start with our first tune, stopping at the satellite. Thanks for being here. support that we like to share opportunities for other arts organizations to 
be able to earn for their groups. And so tonight's proceeds that are in the donation cans go to the Sue Drummond Scholarship Fund, which over the last six years has provided over $18,000 worth of fine arts scholarships for students in our community. So if you came in for free, make sure you don't leave for free, okay? There are donation cans at the doorway. There's a couple intermissions built into the program. After we perform, there'll be a couple minutes. And then when the two octets switch over, use that opportunity to go give generously to this fine uh, organization, the Thornhill Arts Council, and their scholarship program. Second announcement. As you walked in, I hope you saw, especially those of you that are not from Hastings, there's this beautiful rendering, an architectural rendering. They are building a, thorn, it's called the Thorn Apple Plaza. And it's being built right here in our town. It's making Hastings even more of a destination for the arts. And so we, want, we are soon going to be unra uh, un revealing, <laughs> unveiling, that's the word, yeah. All these lights, they <laughs> work here today. Uh, at our summer programming for that. Um, but I know the band program already has a couple tentative dates set there for this spring, including a jazz night and our senior night concert. So uh, we hope that you come back to Hastings this summer. Um, check us out, cityofhastings.com, for all the information about those programs. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's already like halfway done, and it's a beautiful, beautiful amphitheater facility for bands and performances. So, um, and that was all provided uh, by the Baum Family Foundation, so we're very thankful in our community for that. So we hope that you come back to Hastings uh, always for the arts because it's a very thriving community. Last announcement before we play our second and final tune. Today, one of our students auditioned at Central Michigan University on the oboe and was accepted on the spot to be a music education major, Sarah Olson. Congratulations. <laughs> And so we only get to rehearse twice a week if there are no snow days. And so uh, we're really uh, fortunate to have so many students that are interested in playing jazz. This is so cool. And uh, raise your hand if you do not play the instrument you're holding in a concert band. So all these students with their hands up had to learn this instrument for jazz. They didn't know it. They didn't te I didn't teach them that instrument. They, had, they came to me and asked to be a jazz band. And I said, learn this instrument, and you can be in the jazz band. So I think that's pretty remarkable. And I'm very proud of them. We're going to finish up with a tune, uh, Take the A Train. We got to spend an hour with the Michigan State uh, Octets, Mr. Barron and their director, Professor Rivera. And they worked with us on this tune during that time. And uh, was that kind of cool? It was very cool. It was very cool. So we hope you enjoy this performance of Take the A Train.